the practice of focusing on the positive or the good side of any given situation can have a huge impact on your physical and mental health. This attitude simply defines that you approach the good and the bad in life with the expectation that things will go well. Hello and welcome to My City Week. I'm your neighborhood journalist Afrin Firdaus here to give you a weekly roundup of the best of everything happening in Odisha presented by My City Links. The Queen's baton for the 2022 Commonwealth Games reached Bhubaneswar and was received and welcomed by Chairman of Orissa Hockey Promotion Council Dilip Tirki and officials of the Sports and Youth Services Department and the Orissa Olympic Association at the Biju Patnaik Airport. As part of its epic journey, the Queen's baton commenced its journey in Odisha from Kalinga Stadium with Olympians Duti Chand and Sunita Lakra carrying the baton and officially kicking off the relay to historic landmarks like the Puri Jagannath Temple, Puri Blue Flag Beach and thereafter to the iconic Konak Sun Temple where it was received by officials of the State Sports Department and the District Administration. Later, it arrived at Raj Bhavan in Bhubaneswar where it was received by the Governor of Odisha, Ganeshi Lal from Shraddhanjali Samantrai, the ace footballer from the state. The Queen's baton then toured the temple city of Bhubaneswar before arriving at the Kalinga Stadium for the last leg of the relay. The Queen's baton finally departed Odisha for its next destination which is Singapore and was given a spectacular and befitting send-off at the Kalinga Stadium amidst fireworks that lit up the night sky. A woman has several roles in life, a mother, daughter, wife and many more. Often, we see women so absorbed in fulfilling their duties that they leave behind their own passions and aspirations. The present generation has taken a new turn. Women are standing out in all arenas and proving their mettle in all fields. Manisha Praharaj is one such lady who is following her aspirations and is on a journey to fulfill all her dreams. A doting mother to a two-year-old, Manisha was recently crowned Mrs. India One in a Million, Odisha, at a beauty pageant we conducted recently. The national level contest, which continued for four days in New Delhi, had attracted 103 participants from all over the country in which Manisha came out victorious. She is currently an assistant professor at the SUM Nursing College of Siksa O Anusandhan. She is indeed an inspiration for other women out there. 28-year-old para-athlete from Puri district of Odisha, Kamal Kanta Nayak has created a world record by covering a distance of 215 kilometers on a manual wheelchair in 24 hours. He entered the Guinness Book of World Records for covering the record distance between Raj Mahal Square to Master Canteen Square by driving to and fro. Kamal suffers from a spinal cord injury which has left him paralyzed from waist down. From not being able to walk to scripting a success story as a marathoner, Kamal has been an inspiration for all facing such challenges. Throughout his journey from disability to scaling heights, he has had the support and guidance of Dr. P.P. P. Mohanty of National Institute of Rehabilitation Training and Research, Ulladpur. On the suggestion of late S. Vaidyanath, founder of Spinal Foundation, Kamal now attempted the Guinness World Record with the hope to represent India in Olympics as well as other international level sporting events as a marathoner. As a tribute to the late IS officer Priyaprat Patnaik, a three-day-long snooker open tournament was organized at the Bhuvneshwar Club. Inaugurated by Patnaik's wife, Lipsa Mishra, the event had been organized on the occasion of his 69th birthday on 17 January 2022. A highly decisive bureaucrat, Patnaik had scripted his own story. He had a great aptitude in mentoring sporting talents irrespective of genre and has been their pillar of support. To name a few, Abudhya Singh, Marathon Child Prodigy, Amrita Mahapatra, only female senior national cubist from Odisha and many others. The tournament concluded with its first winner, Ashutosh Padhi, who also won the highest break trophy. Dr. Rakesh Roshan Pradhan, a heart surgeon at Amri Hospitals, was the runner-up. The Odisha state government is leaving no stones unturned to host the inaugural edition of the International Badminton Tournament, the 2022 Odisha Open, which will witness over 300 players from 18 countries compete for the top honours. The 2022 Odisha Open is a Badminton World Federation Super 100 tournament that will take place at the Jawaharlal Nehru Indoor Stadium in Qatar. 
The venue has gone through minor upgradation and enhancement befitting the event. It will however be held behind closed doors with no spectators and strict adherence to COVID guidelines and norms laid down by the state government and Badminton World Federation. The district administration and Katak Municipal Corporation are also ensuring the Silver City is ready to welcome the players and officials and create a memorable experience for them. In a great news for Odessa, the industrial city of Raulkila is among the 15 winners hailing from 13 nations of a prestigious worldwide innovation competition which recognized the cities for designing the boldest and most ambitious urban innovations to emerge from the global COVID-19 pandemic. Bloomberg Philanthropies announced the 15 winning cities of the 2021-2022 Global Mayors Challenge which is the fifth edition of the global innovation competition that supports and spreads city's most promising ideas. Raulkila in Orissa backed the honor for providing cold storage units to women cooperatives to empower female vendors, reduce food waste and increase access to fresh foods. The winning cities will receive a million US dollars each and multi-year technical support. The Biju Patnaik State Police Academy in Bhubaneswar has won the Union Home Minister's Trophy for the Best Police Training Institution in Gadgeted Officers category in India for the year 2020 to 2021. The State Academy will receive a reward of Rs 20 lakh in the form of granting aid from the centre for being accorded with this recognition. The Academy has been continuously winning the Union Minister's Journal Level Trophy in different categories in the Eastern Journal Level since 2015. However, this is for the first time that the Academy has won the award for the best police training institution of the country. The Academy, which was established in 2005, provides long-duration basic training courses to the directly recruited Odisha Police Service officers, sub-inspectors, sergeants and deputy subedas after they join Odisha Police. Here is a light-hearted video to tickle your nerves. With this, we come to the end of today's segment. Keep watching My City Week, your weekly dose of positivity. I'm your neighborhood journalist, Afton Fitdur, signing off.